one of the things that I think that most people struggle with when they are going into this, whether you're creating a career change or you're going into a new position or you're in a job and you want to go to another level or another company or you're just flat out miserable and you want to get out of where you're at or the other side of the coin is that you may need some coins and you're unemployed and you need to make some money. And um, desperation is the killer of attitude and the killer of your vibration. So um, being desperate does not make you get a job that you like. Being desperate doesn't even make you interview well. In fact, people can sense that in your intonation and your need and there's like this uh, pushiness that goes on when people are desperate. So being desperate, number one, it doesn't make you get to where you want to go faster. So if you're desperate and you want to get what you want, you got to flip the script and you got to re-engineer your thinking and reprogram your mind and get in sync with what's really authentic. What is causing you to do that drive? And money... Money might be a piece of it, but usually it's wanting to be in a position that has a title. I have a lot of clients that want to really, they don't really care about the position so much as they care about the title, which to me, hey, if that's your thing, go for it. We can get you a new title. Sometimes it's as simple as asking, but don't let that be your driving force. Really get clear on the attitude. And when I say attitude, what I mean is how is it that you are approaching what it is you are moving towards? Is it with a veracity like, ah, I gotta get that? Or is it like, say la vie, you know, if it happens, it happens and ah, life is what it is. Or you just expect it to come to you because you're one of those that is following the law of attraction which by the way, I'm not going to poo poo the law of attraction. There's a lot of good qualities in it, but there's more than one law. And do you know the other ones? I'm not going to teach them all to you here, but you really need to know what is your attitude and approach towards your search, towards your new level. That is pivotal. It is pivotal because it changes number one, your energy vibration. It changes how people receive you and perceive you, which is everything when it comes to an interview. So your attitude, what I always say is your attitude is your aptitude. So if you're not getting the results that you want, you definitely want to check in with your attitude. So you could do this personally, but if you don't trust yourself, ask your friends, ask a close friend, ask a confident, go to your past bosses and ask them, that is so valuable to get some feedback. Feedback is always going to be something that's going to improve how you do what you do. Does that make sense? So you feeling me on this, this attitude? You must re-engineer how it is you are approaching your career. Careers in the new paradigm are always aligned and therefore you must be aligned. So if you are getting job offers, from positions that you're not interested in, that means that you're aligned to those. No big deal. If you wanna get something else, you must change your approach. So you gotta re-engineer. One degree shift. It is open in your approach. It's open in your attitude. It's open in your feeling. It's embracing feedback. It's taking in information. It's receiving. And when you are open, things happen quicker. If you are narrowly focused in your approach, you are going to have a arduous time. Now I'm all about focus and goals and all of those things. So this is not about that. I'm talking about your frame of reference in your mind. I'm talking about re-engineering re your thoughts about what it is that you're doing in your approach and bringing more levity to it, having more fun, being bold and courageous and trying new things. That is exciting. Doing things that everybody told you to do that aren't working 
is confining and restricting and small. And when you're sending out your resume, that is sensed. So, you know, in science, they have told us that we only know maybe 10% of the capacity of our brains. So if you think about that, the rest of it is all picked up with your senses, with your knowing, with your listening, with your intuition. And what I'm asking you to do is tap into those other senses of who you are that makes your energy more palatable to those around you in a positive way. So they can actually feel you. Like, you know what I mean? They can, can you feel me on this? Can you feel what I'm saying? I'm clearly passionate about you being your best, your authentic best. And that means that who you were six months ago, who you were two months ago, who you were last month, you could have changed. So you got to be in tune with who you are right now in this moment. And what is it that you need today?